First section done. Second section now coming through. Chest, biceps again, and abs. First exercise for chest, incline, chest, dumbbell press. Um, obviously, I'm sure everybody knows how to do these. But I'll take you through them. Nice and easy. Extending all the way up. <sighs> keep the dumbbells in. Look how I keep them in there. To get the inner chest. Good form. And this is how you do a proper incline chest dumbbell press. Next, after the chest movement, you move on to the biceps. I'm using an Olympic bar because I like the feeling of the actual contraction on the biceps. It's a whole different board game. Uh, 45 pounds plus 10 and 10, that's 65. I don't like using too much weight here, and I hate swinging. I keep the tension on the biceps all the time, keep my elbows back, lean slightly forward, but I keep my chest up, I don't run my shoulder. There, and this is how I do my biceps. Nice and slow, biceps curl, keeping my elbows back as much as possible, and keeping my form all the way through out the movement. Obviously I go up in weight as I move forward and then we go from there. Yeah. Save it for the next one. Okay, second movement for abs. Frog crunch on a bench. Okay, the shirt is off, the reason why is because I want to show up. No, I'm just kidding. I just want to show you how the action muscles work. Uh, you're going to involve your serratus, which is there and the front as well with one action movement this one see how i bring the knees up and when i bring my elbows in i get the serratus which is the side and i extend this is why i do what i do nice and slow find your balance you get that squeeze as you move in up and down so you can do it this way or you can make it harder by bringing your elbows in. Obviously the abs is a body part that you can never train it too much. Three to four times a week, but you gotta eat clean, guys. Cut on those carbs and increase your cardio. You got a nice six pack. Next, 